Good morning, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, and welcome to your 2021 virtual sales event, celebrating your 2020 success. Thank you for the honor to be with all of you this morning. Albeit virtually, you know, I this is the one time of the year I miss you all so much. I get to see everybody, but I guess I'll be seeing you through your television lenses at the moment or your computer screens. We have a great event in store for you today. Wow, what a year, right? This has truly been an amazing year in so many ways. What you all have dealt with in business, family, and your daily life has made you stronger and just been really so impressive for Mark and I to, to watch. I mean, how everyone's adapted. We all navigated the many twists and turns of this year, and it ended for so many successfully. Actually, it was a record year for our company and a record year for many of our sales executives. Today, we are here to pay tribute to all that hard work and all you have faced this past year. We have shortened up the event today as to respect your time and many of our attention spans on video. I'm included in that. <laughs> so let's get this celebration going. Let's start today's awards program by celebrating our 2020 BHHS award winners. Award winners will be recognized at the virtual BHHS convention to be held March 22nd through 23rd. It was supposed to be in Vegas. Um, one change to mention this year is BHHS National has changed the way teams are recognized this year. They have actually broken them out and split them into three categories. One, small teams, two to five agents, two, medium teams, six to 10 agents, and three, large teams, 11 plus agents. Also, the physical BHHS awards will be distributed at your future offer sales meetings. Please note that all award winners in this BHH national categories are based on 2020 GCI and are listed in alphabetical order. Our amazing sales managers, I'm bringing everybody into the program today, will help us announce these award winners. So, today, in addition to all our award winners, we will be announcing the top 100 in gross commission income, GCI. We will be counting from 100 to 1 in rankings for both teams and sales executives based upon your end of year numbers. The top 10 of each will be announced at the end of the program. Posters with the office rankings and all that kind of good stuff are going to be displayed in your offices, so we look forward to that. First up, let's welcome the Southwest Sales Manager, Chuck Maxfield, to congratulate our Honor Society winners. Take it away, Chuck. Thank you, Gordon. It's my distinct pleasure to mention the Honor Society winners, and those are agents who have a minimum of 75000 in 2020 residential gross commission income, or at least 25 residential units. These agents are in the top 14% of the entire BHHS network. For your information, teams are no longer eligible for this category. In alphabetical order, we have Adam Golom, Alan Diep, Andrew Kozlowski, and Ezreal Neri, Cecilia Schaff, Christina Pago, and CJ Salazar. Denise Sassina. Eleanor Horton, Emily Kearney, and Erica Delk. Frank Yu, Gail Kessler, Greg Chin, and Ileana Danchu, Janine Octong, Jeff Burchick, and Jeff Desaru, Jennifer Breeden, Jennifer Weinberg, Jesse Torres, and Joyce Matsumoto, Judy Borum, and Juliana Edge, Liana Nestor, Lisa Kwong, Mark Neeris, and Michelle Natali, Nicole Johnson, Paul Nipa and Rachel DePietro, Stephen LaForge, Tamara Pullman, Tammy Eden, Valentina Rodriguez, and Vanji Genio. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Chuck. Congratulations to our Honor Society winners. Please welcome Janice Higdon, our Summerlin Sales Manager, to announce our Leading Edge Award winners. Janice. Thank you, Gordon. Well, the Leading Edge Award winners are those agents or teams who have a minimum of 120,000 residential GCI or 35 residential units. The agents and small teams in this category are in the top 8% of the entire Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Network. Medium and large teams are not eligible for this category. 
Alan Zeller, Angel Martinez, April Malave Finest Property, Aerosmith Brady Team, Bill Burning Team, the Casillary Team, Celine Florella Mendy, Craig Lighty, Christine Lefkowitz, Dale Willette, Eric Molson, Evan Bellman, the Flavio Team, James Namchek, Jess Garcia, Jill Landis, Jim Fan, Joe Ingle, Judy Harris, Kelly Lemon, Kyle Hayberg, Lorreen Zamora, Leo Rodriguez, Liz Lucas, Maria Martin, Mark Stevens, the Mary Thomas Luxury Group, Nebby at Hannum Team, Ray Roberts, Roth and Cook Group, Saray Salazar Group, Shauna Ludlow, Sonia Gorgon, Steve Schneider, Team Chavez, the Biotis Group, the Burton Group, the Pan Team, the Roche Group, the Shapiro Team, the Sweeney Team, the Vernava Team, Virginia Krieger, Wanda Gabriel, Wayne Corbeil, Wendy Wiener Team, Zane Weber, and Zhang Team. Thank you so much. Thank you, Janice. Congratulations to all of our Leading Edge winners. Next up, the wonderful Suzanne Pashnik, Sahara Sales Manager, to announce our President's Circle Award winners. Suzanne. Thank you, Gordon. President's Circle Award winners have a minimum 185,000 2020 residential GCI or 50 residential units. Those mentioned in this category are in the top 5% of the entire Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Network. Large teams are not eligible for this category. Alan Hoang, Aneta Rapogo, Arahu Group, Bentley Group, Blaze Dvorsky, Earl White Group, Jerry Sussman, Igor Lee Team, Karen James, Christy Badalato, Linda Murphy, Linda Wang Group, Mark Weinberg, Mike Gagne Team, Peggy Cook, Susan Perry, Team Feliciano, The McMahon Team, The Morcom Group, The Prospero Group, The Rodriguez Team, The Silva Group, The Spalding Team, Tony Alada, Tori Farbridge Curry. Thank you, Suzanne. Congratulations to our, all our President's Circle Award winners. Great job. Now let's welcome Carlos Capia, Sales Manager for our St. Rose office, to announce our Chairman's Circle Gold Award winners. Carlos. Hey, thank you very much, Gordon. And after 20 years with the company, nobody can seem to get my last name correct, but it's Carlos Kaipa. <laughs> I'm here to announce the Chairman's Circle Gold Award winners. They have a minimum of 280,000 in 2020 residentials GCI, or 70 residential units. The agents teams that are the presidential circle winners are in the top 2% of the entire BHHS network. So let's go ahead and start off with congratulations to Arno Neeston, Brigger Schwab team, Brian Wetterer, Chain Kentop Group, Christina Kovas Simmons, Christopher Coleman, Danielle Besant, Don Laner's Platinum Elite Group, Yana Shore, Jay Braven, John Williams, Johnson Egbert Team, Jun Kim, Londa Faber, McCoy Team, Mitch Fulfer Team, Nellie Cornejo, Rich Crithfield, 
Roberta Jenkins Group, Rochelle Benoit, Shauna Feli Team, Story Team, The Bell Team, Dolly Juliet Group, The Fraley Team, The John Joseph Team, The Nelson Group, The Presswood Heast Group, and finally, the Steve Howe Team. Congratulations on all your hard work. Thank you, Carlos. Congratulations to all of our Chairman Circle Gold winners. And now, the Chairman Circle Platinum Award. Winners have a minimum of $500,000 in GCI in 2020, or 100 residential units. The amazing agents and teams in this group are in the top 1% of the entire BHHS network. Ready? All right, the always wonderful Mr. Billy O'Keefe, the Gaccioni team, the Gunning team, Mary Lorenzo, the Premac team, Stacy Heroy, the Stafford team, the Angarola group, the Dan Denuccio team, the Helmuth Borges team, the Margita team, the Saab team, and the Stardust group, the Vogel Group, and Mr. Tony Vane. Congratulations to all our Chairman Circle Platinum Award winners. Great job. Next, now for the top honorees, our Chairman Circle Diamond Award winners. Minimum 750,000 GCI, done in 2020, or 150 residential units. Congratulations to the top dogs. These are just the top one half of 1% in the entire network. What an accomplishment. Congratulations to the following award winners. Mr. Avi Dangor, Ellen Farr Group, Ivan Shear Group, Matt Suter Group, the McGarry Campa Group, Michelle Sullivan, the Blankfield Group, the Carlucci Team, the Carver Team, the Crampton team, the Gilbert team, the Jack Woodcock group, the Mullen group, the Napoli group, and the Tonneson team. Congratulations for all your amazing Chairman Circle Diamond Award winners. Great job. Nevada Properties has several teams finishing in the top 25 of their team category nationwide in residential units or GCI. Residential units, the following, the Crampton team, small teams, the Matt Suter group, small teams, residential GCI, the Napoli group, large teams, both residential GCI and units, the Ivan Shear group, large teams, the Mullen group, large teams, the Tonneson team, large teams. Also back in the BHHS, Top five for the entire network for commercial GCI, the McGarry Campa Group. Congratulations out of our Southwest office. Joining them this year in the top five in commercial GCI for 2020 production is Sean Barashi from the Sahara office. Congratulations. Two of our offices will be recognized during the virtual BHS convention, March 22nd through the 23rd for top 10 nationwide in either both residential GCI and residential units of over 1,400 offices in the network. Wow. Please help me in congratulating the Summerlin office. They will be recognized in the top 10 in residential GCI. Finishing in the top 10 in both residential GCI and units is the St. Rose office. Congratulations to you guys. Amazing job. Please also join me in congratulating these outstanding members of the Nevada Properties and the entire Berkshire Hath Hathaway family. We are very proud of you. The next category to be recognized is the BHHS 2020 Legend Award winners. The Legend Award is presented to those sales executives or teams who have achieved the Chairman Circle designation minimum $280,000 GCI or residential units for five, 10, 15, and 20 years. Winners of these awards are recognized every five years for their continued success. They will also be recognized during the virtual BHHS convention 
and will be actual awards will be distributed in a future office sales meeting. The award winners for 2020 are five-year legend award win winners are the Angarola Group, Sahara, Yana Shore, Sahara, the Fraley Team, St. Rose, Roberta Jenkins Group from Southwest, 10-year legend award winners, the Jack Woodcock Group, Sahara, the Bell Team, Sahara, the Story Team, St. Rose, the Gaccioni Team, St. Rose, the Gilbert Team, St. Rose, and the Brager Schaub Team from our Summerlin office, Johnson Egbert Team from Summerlin as well. Next up are 15-year Legend Award winners, the Carlucci Team from St. Rose, the Presswood Heath Group from Summerlin. Please join me in a round of applause, albeit virtually, for all the BHHS award winners in this group. Now, I would like to also take this opportunity to recognize our amazing partners that work tirelessly day to day in helping all of us and you get your business done. They provide some of the best service in the industry. Also, thank you all of you for your continued support. That means so much and it's very much appreciated. Our sister company, Equity Title, our lending partners, Axia Home Loans and AmeriFirst, thank you. Our wonderful home warranty friends at American Home Shield and celebrating a first year with us, the BHH with BHHS, Old Republic Home Protection. Thank you for all your service, greatly appreciated. Next up, let me bring up Rick Berube, our Vice President of Sales to announce our company longevity awards. Take it away, Rick. We would like to take a moment and truly thank those sales executives and staff who have celebrated 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and even 40 years with us, okay, in, through 2020. Your dedication and support is so greatly appreciated. Five years, we have Alex Chiarandini, Alicia De Palmer, Alma Kettner, Amanda Lopez, Anthony Sipes, Ashley Lazarus, Blaze Dvorsky, Bobby Brooks, Brian McConnell, Carol Vaselli, Cindy C. Fluentes, Corwin Masaki, Craig Thornton, Crystal Allen, Daisy Mendoza, Daniel Lebedor, Dave Nelson, David Wolfson, Dana Johnson, Mo Dennis, Dory Hernandez Torres, Edna Bowen, Exi Seastrunk, Gregory Bass, Jeanette Cardenas, Jenna Nelson, Joe Maiesi, John Connolly, Joshua Premack, Julie Boucher, Karen Mahoney, Larissa Gaccioni, Lise, Lisa Fairbanks, Lori Biotis, Madison Blau Benchimone, Moss Zaney Roberts, Melody Hunter, Milton Gay, Mina Silva, Miriam Field, Montine, Connolly, Murad Agrebi, Diana Zhang, Pamela Fox, Rich Crithfield, Roxanne Wortham Brown, Sarah Longhurst, Sharon Gonzalez, Sean Barashi, Tanya Zubik, Tom Wirt, Tisha Moore, Tori Farbridge Curry, Trishael Cade, Tyree Fry, Val Rodriguez, and Vanessa Martin Benjamin. Now for our 10 years. Okay, we have Alex Arojo, Dave Hodson. Deborah Martinez, Eberth Mendez, Gail Bachelor, Isabel Kirkpatrick, Kendall Towers, Laura Davis, Laureen Zamora, Linda Murphy, Mary Thomas, Sean Giasi, Sonia Gorgon, Tanya Nilsson, and Terry Randall. Now for our 15 years, Anita Shapiro, Barbara O'Neill, Kathy Hornis, 
Dan Sweeney, Deborah Allen, Diane Tonneson, Glenn Tonneson, Ida Maesi, Jacqueline Goodman, Karen Port, Lar Valdez, Linda D. Augustino, Liz Lucas, Louise Douglas, Matthew Saray, Michelle Gurin, Randy Howell, Rochelle Vinoy, Shannon Gaccioni, and Chantel Ledgerward, David Shapiro, Suzanne Pashnik, Teresa Monticelli Fritz, Tom Ratanico, Tony James, Zoraida Roncal. And now for our 20 years, Carlos Kaipa, Chris Coleman, Doreen Donahue, Gail Kelly, Ivan Shear, Janine Ongtong, Jeff Stafford, Jim Donahue, Jim Saracino, Mitch Falfer, and Nebi Adhanam. Now for our 25 years, Ernie Schneider, Flavio Ostapalaza, and Judy Borum. Now for our 30 year, Craig Lighty, Jay Braven, Susan Brager. Thank you again for your continued support and commitment. We appreciate that. Thank you, Rick. Appreciate it. Now I'd like to, for two very special um, anniversary awards, I would like to bring up, um, and for our, our special message, our fabulous and always leading um, amazing man, our CEO, Mr. Mark Stark. Mark! Hello, everyone. I am here now and honored to announce two very special people and two very special awards. 40-year company anniversary awards. Today, I'm here to honor and thank Nancy Story and Julie McCoy. I wanna start and share a few things about these two women and what they have in common. See, I started my career in real estate when I was 21 years of age, back in 1985. And these two lovely ladies were my welcoming party. They are fun, a wealth of knowledge, brilliant real estate practitioners, and knew everything going on in the entire company. I still have to pay each of them a silence fee as they know all my crazy stories, and yes, they also know where all the bodies are buried. They also had to approve all my girlfriends. We like her, we don't like her, this one is never allowed back again, and I had to look them sternly in the eyes and say, yeah, totally get it, no problem, won't happen again. Uh, all joking aside, they each have impeccable reputations in the industry, and they're always looked to for mentorship. Through my 35-year career, they have both been there for me to support me through the good times and the tough times. Their loyalty and counsel through the years has been invaluable. I trust and love them both. I'd like to share now some things about each of them on an individual basis. Let's begin with Nancy's story. If you know Nancy, you know she is friends with everyone. She is a true connector of people and opportunities. Though she is very successful, she truly does not get excited about the money. She gets excited about the people and the fun. She's been a top producing sales executive her entire career, her clients become her friends, and then her family. She is a hardworking real estate professional, still running hard today. She is, she's had a fantastic 2020 year and continues to come up with unique and innovative ideas, setting herself and her team apart from others in the industry. Please help me congratulate Nancy Story for 40 fabulous years with the company. Thank you, Nancy. Now let me share with you a few things about Julie McCoy. When I joined the company in 1985, Julie was heading up recruiting at that time and was the person who hired me. Later, Julie decided to go back into full-time sales. 
Julie is a no-nonsense professional with a get-it-done mentality. If she is representing you, there is truly nothing she cannot figure out how to accomplish. Her clientele through the years have been many prominent professionals in Las Vegas that can be very demanding, though never too tough for Julie to handle. However, I would have to say her biggest accomplishment was her ability to have such a successful career year after year and always be able to place her family first. Her gift of life balance is truly to be admired. In 2013, her daughter Katie joined her team, which I know was a delight for Julie. Please help me congratulate Julie McCoy on her 40 year, 40 fabulous year anniversary with the company and again, still counting. <laughs> Hello everyone. Let me once again welcome you to your 2021 general sales event celebrating your success in 2020. Now, 2020 obviously was one of the most challenging years ever for numerous reasons. It was emotionally taxing. We dealt with personal illnesses, loss of friends, and loss of loved ones. Simply also dealing with the everyday stress of life. On the opposite side of the spectrum, something truly amazing occurred. 2020 was our sales executives and our company's most productive year ever. I know it can be difficult to get our heads around two such opposing outcomes, you know, both occurring at the same time. I cannot help but ask myself, what can we learn from this? I know we can't always choose the environment or the circumstances that we want. Yet, we have undoubtedly learned in any circumstance, there are still people who need our help, our counsel, our support, and our service. Clearly, the pandemic, though incredibly tragic, also placed this huge spotlight on home ownership. See, based on people's actions, I believe they felt if I'm going to have to shelter myself, isolate myself at home, work at home, then I want the home that I want. This along with low listed inventories, low interest rates, and dedicated sales executives in one of the toughest environments our industry has ever had to face, that is a recipe for a very busy real estate market. I am so excited to share with you these amazing results that you accomplished in 2020. Let me begin with volume. Your 19, 2019 volume versus 2020, you increased by 1.57 billion in volume, going over 7 billion in volume company-wide in 2020. Now, I gotta tell you, yeah, that sounds amazing, but I really need you to get some context around this powerful, powerful accomplishment. And here's how I'll help you do that. Starting in 2020, NAR stats show that there was 106,548 real estate brokerage firms operating in the United States in total, okay? Over 106,000 real estate brokerages. Only 193 of these brokerages did 1.5 billion or greater as a company you grew by 1.57 billion in 2020 during a pandemic. The only word that comes to mind is wowza. It's amazing. And please don't fall into the trap that you think all companies had that kind of success. Wasn't even close. These type of statistics are just amazing. And I have to tell you, we did no acquisitions in 2020. That was all organic growth of your efforts and hard work in the marketplace. Let me share a couple other stats with you. Let's talk about units. 
year over year growth in units from 2019 to 20, you grew by 1,465 units totaling for the year 14,265 closings in 2020. Another huge accomplishment. And last but certainly not least, how about your growth in GCI? That's gross commissionable income. Huh. Hold on to your seats. Year over year growth in closed commissions were up from 19 to 20, 35262 thousand dollars. Again, there is less than 200 companies doing 35 million or greater in GCI. You grew it through organic efforts, through hard work, through commitment in the marketplace. Listen, this is really clear. Consumers, buyers and sellers are choosing you and Berkshire Hathaway Home Services more times than any other company to represent them. And it's showing in your statistics. I have to tell you, I am so proud of your accomplishments in 2020. So what is our go forward plan? Well, we're certainly going to stay our very successful course, however, with some enhancements. You know, we continue to attract quality sales executives from other organizations looking for more support, technology, business growth, and specifically the ability to compete more effectively in an ever-changing real estate environment. So we absolutely cannot rest on our past successes. Though those successes were amazing, we must continue to improve, okay? I want to share with you the enhancements that we're going to be focused on in this coming year. We must continue to improve our client-centric offerings. Ultimately, what do I mean? We need to make sure that we continue to provide the systems and services and help that are relevant to our buyers and sellers, specifically solutions that will assist them in successfully orchestrating the challenges that the market throws their way. We cannot focus on the problems or the frustrations. We must locate and administer solutions. That's our job. Regardless of the environment, we have to come up with what do we need to do and how do we help our clients win and move forward based on their goals successfully. Now, we have a great foundation, okay, that we already have built with our VAC uh, 2.0 system, our buy side partnership, our AdWorks relationship, our Apex program, and the enormous trust and admiration that the Berkshire Hathaway Home Services brand provides us. That's just to name a few, a powerful few, but just a few. Ultimately, we need to continue to keep buyers and sellers at the center of our decision-making process. Next, we must also work to reduce the client loyalty gap. I have a question for you. Why nationally, 80% of clients say they would gladly use their last Realtor, yet only 13% actually do? Berkshire Hathaway Home Services nationally will be presenting a new and innovative solution at convention. It was created to assist all brokers in the Berkshire Hathaway Home Services network in tackling this urgent and vitally important issue. Look forward to hearing more on that at convention. Now, also, we must continue to investigate innovative, innovative marketing strategies to help our agent base attract new clients. Look, it is key to support our current spheres, but the second goal of that is to leverage up our success to grow our sphere over time, building short-term wins in our business and also long-term asset value for our business as well as more long-term results. We also need better communication methods and tools for our internal use 
as well as for our sales executives use when presenting to a buyer or seller. Look at video will be at the center of this project, helping our sales executives better understand, better communicate and present relevant information to their clients. Let me now update you on our progress that we've had in just the first couple months of 21. We have already begun additional upgrades and enhancements to our current VAC 2.0. And by the way, this only happens because of the valuable feedback we receive from our sales executives and our leadership team. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep the feedback coming. It only makes us better. We have also hired a consulting firm to assist us in creating a more robust brokerage and back-end accounting system for better communication and reporting capabilities. Now, this will provide better focus and clarity to our leadership team as they help our sales executives move their business forward in the future. Now, we are also in the process of creating a professional video library that will help our sales executives present our products, systems, and service offerings to clients with accuracy, consistency, and professionalism. And last, but certainly not least, we are continuing to help our sales executives create and spotlight their own personal brand. Of course, while leveraging the power of the Berkshire Hathaway Home Services branding. Look, keep in mind, there are 750,000 shareholders of Berkshire Hathaway stock in the United States. All right, pretty impressive. And the last time I looked at the value of the stock, it was at 377,000 per share. And I always love to share with you most admired companies through Fortune Magazine. And as you can see, Berkshire Hathaway, number six. We have had an unbelievable year in 2020, pretty much in every way possible. In 2021, you have already surpassed your 2020 results for January and February. In the words from our upcoming national BHHS convention, you are unstoppable. On behalf of the entire company, thank you for all of your hard work, your personal strength, and your support. God bless. Thank you, Mark. Now on to the company awards and celebrating your 2020 success. I am really excited about this. First up, we want to celebrate the 2020 winner for the Company Rookie of the Year Award. This award is presented to the sales executive with the highest 2020 GCI with one year or less experience. As we all know, this is quite an accomplishment for any new realtor. It is my pleasure to go to the manager of our St. Rose office, Arliss Spiker, to announce the award winner. Arliss. I want to say thank you to the agent who bought a car from our Rookie of the Year and said to him, you should be a realtor. He thought about that statement for just a moment and he made the courageous decision to walk away from his job to begin this career in this crazy business we call real estate. He jumped in and he never looked back. He is disciplined, fearless, and most importantly, he is genuine in all of his dealings. His accomplishment in 2020 was incredible and he did it in the year of the pandemic. He closed 15 transactions, would have been 20 had Rona not come for a visit. And I gotta tell you guys, 21 is shaping up to be pretty spectacular for him. Top dogs, he's nipping at your heels, so you better watch out. I know how hard he has worked for this, and I know this award is going to be very special to him. So I'm very happy to say congratulations to our Rookie of the Year, Andrew Kozlowski. Thank you, Arliss, and congratulations, Andrew. I would now like to present a very special award, Employee of the Year. I remember this person when she was yay high to a hitching post. Uh, she has one of the most amazing work ethics, has riven th risen through her department by learning, providing the best support to all of us, 
Um, she's one of the nicest people I've, I've met. Um, just really, I, I'm, I'm honored to get to work with her. And um, she takes my calls at all hours, uh, talks me down off the ledge a lot of times. And I've seen her work with all of you and the service she gives to all of um, our agents. Uh, best of all, she gets us paid. It works with everyone when we need a fix. Um, I am really, truly honored today to present this award to one of the most deserving recipients of our Employee of the Year, Sarah O'Rennick, director of our board. Okay, next up, the Branch Agent Spirit Award. The Branch Agent Spirit Award recognizes an individual in each office as a person who exemplifies the core values of our company on a daily basis. They promote and participate in office meetings, events, charities, while showing outstanding support and spirit to their fellow agents. This award is voted on by all the agents and staff in your respective offices. First up, let's welcome Amanda Lopez from the Sahara Branch. Come on up, Amanda. The Hara Branch's recipient of the Spirit Award comes as no surprise. This person is always willing to help and continuously instigating and encouraging innovative ideas for the branch inside and outdoors, no matter how busy she is with her family, her friends, her clients, her health and fitness, her never-ending desire to volunteer all around the world she always makes keeping our branch and her team together a priority. I could go on and on about why she so deserves this award. She's one of a kind and one of my great inspirations. Please help me celebrate and honor Sahara's Spirit Award winner, Yvonne Angarola. I am so honored this year to announce the Spirit Award winner for the St. Rose office to an individual who simply brings joy to our office. In fact, when I asked several people what first comes to mind when you think of him, everyone said something similar. He's always happy, never has a bad day. When he comes through the door, he brings sunshine in with him. And it's true. This is a person with the most beautiful spirit and he shares that spirit with all of us every day. He has been tremendously instrumental in the training of our new agents and many experienced agents as well. And he's a role model for every agent he does business with. His professionalism and exemplary customer service is the epitome of what the Berkshire brand expects. And then he quietly gives back to his community without expectation of any recognition uh, at all. It has been amazing to watch this young man grow in both his professional life and his personal life. I am so glad that he has decided to be part of our Berkshire Hathaway family. And it gives me great pleasure to award the Spirit Award this year to our very beautiful spirit, Jamal Eden. Now let's welcome back Aldo Martinez from the Southwest office for his Spirit Award winner. Hey, and thank you for that heartfelt introduction. So I am here now to announce what everybody in this office and throughout the entire uh, Berkshire Hathaway family has been waiting to hear is the Southwest office's Spirit Award winner for 2020. And uh, I gotta tell you, this office would not last a week without her. So uh, you probably know her, you see her every single time that you come in here. You can't avoid her. She makes everything run as smooth as ice. She's the one that makes this location look like every holiday season that we've ever had. Uh, she promotes uh, all of our agents, makes sure that we're always informed, sets up all of our meetings, uh, bends over backwards to help you with all of your needs, I can't think of a more worthwhile and worthy recipient of this award than our very own Loretta Turner. So everybody, let's give a good Southwest uh, cheer for Loretta. So let me not take up any more of your time, guys, and introduce you to the next person you've been waiting to hear from, our Summerlin office's very own Haiti Kasama, and she's coming to us live from Carson City. So get ready for her. Come on, Haiti. 
she enshrines the the concepts of helping the office helping her fellow agents she has a beautiful spirit she's always excited to help she takes over our charity events and she participates in our events at the office and always always there with that great beautiful smile i couldn't be more thrilled to see that christy Badalato is our spirit award winner Congratulations to all the Spirit Award winners. Just great job. All right, are we ready? Now it is our pleasure to announce the top 100 teams and or sales executives with the highest 2020 GCIs. These award winners represent the top 10% of over a thousand sales executives at BHHS Nevada Properties. The top 10 teams and sales executives will be announced at the end. We have enlisted our Nevada branch managers to help along with the countdown today. So let's start out today. Welcome the always fabulous and exciting Aldo Martinez from our Southwest branch. Well, thank you for having me back twice during the same meeting. This is something special for me today. And it's my pleasure to start the countdown for the top 100 agents in our company. So are you ready for it? All right, guys, here we go. Starting at 100. Mr. Wayne Corville at 99, Christina Lefkowitz at 98, the Saray Salazar Group at 97, Kyle Hagberg. Coming in at 96, Mr. Jim Fang at 95, Leo Rodriguez at 94, the Biotis Group at 93, the Shapiro Team at 92, Alan Zeller at 91, we have Jesse Garcia. At 90, Mr. Evan Bellman. At 89, Joe Ingle. At 88, Maria Martin. At 87, Team Chavez. At 86, Mr. Zane Weber. At 85, the Roche Group. At 84, Sonia Gorgon. At 83, Annetta Replog. At 82, Tony Alotta. At 81, Peggy Cook. At number 80, Ms. Linda Murphy. At 79, Karen James. At 78, Alan Wayne. At 77, the Spalding team. At 76, Christy Badalotto. And to continue the countdown, please welcome our Sahara office's own Amanda Lopez. Woohoo! Number 75, the Silva Group. 74, Team Feliciano, 73, the Rodriguez Team, 72, the Morcom Group, 71, Tori Farbridge Curry, 70, the McMahon Team, 69, the Prospero Group, 68, Mark Weinberg, 67, Igor Lee Team, 66, Bentley Group, 65, Earl White Group, 64, Susan Perry. 63, Linda Wang Group. 62, Blaze Dvorsky. 61, Araujo Group. 60, Jerry Sussman. 59, Londa Faber. 58, Arno Neeston. 57, Yana Shore. 56, McCoy Team. 55, Jay Braven. 54, the Steve Howell team. 53, the Bell team. 52, Natalie Cornejo. 51, Jung Kim. 50, the Fraley team. 49, Shane Kentock group. 48, the John Joseph team. 47, Christina Kova Simmons. 46, Story team. Now, please help me welcome the St. Rose branch manager, Arliss Spiker. At number 45, the Shauna Felly team. 44, the Breger Schwab team. 41, Roberta Jenkins group. 38, Christopher Komen. At 37, we have Don Lanier's Platinum Elite group. At 36, the Dolly Hewlett group. 34, the Nelson group. At 33, the Johnson Egbert team. At 32, the Mitch Fulfer team. At 31, the Presswood Heath group. 
At number 30 is the Helmuth Morges team. At 28, the Vogel Group. Number 27, the Margita team. Number 26, the Gunning team. Number 25, the Saab team. Number 23, the Stardust Group. Number 22, the Dan Denuzio team. Number 21, the Premac team. At number 20 is Billy O'Keefe. 19 is the Gaccioni team. At number 18, the Stafford team. At number 17, the Angarola group. At number 13, the Jack Woodcock group. And at number 12, the Carlucci team. And last but not least, at number 11, the Gilbert team. Thank you, Aldo, Amanda, and Arliss. Now we are down to our top performers. These folks have accomplished some truly amazing numbers. The top 10 sales executives and the top 10 teams. It is my pleasure to announce this year's company-wide top 10 recipients. Here we go, are we ready? These are some incredible numbers this year. All right, number 10, Rochelle Vinoy from the St. Rose office, 43rd overall company-wide. Number nine, Daniel Besant from our Southwest office, 42 over wide. Number eight, this is awesome, Mr. Rich Crithfield from our Sahara office, 40th overall company wide. Number seven, the creative John Williams, my God, congratulations from our Sahara office, number 39 company wide. Number six, Brian Wedower from our Southwest office, 35 overall company wide. And number five, Tony Vane from our Southwest office, 29 overall company wide. Number four, Stacy Heroy from our St. Rose office, 24 overall company wide. Number three, Mr. Avi Dangor from our Summerlin office, 16th overall company wide. Number two, Sean Barashi from our Sahara office, 15 overall company wide. Wow, this is great. And the number one sales executive, company wide, overall number 14, but number one sales executives with over 34 million in sales volume is Michelle Sullivan out of our Southwest office. Congratulations. Great job to all of you. Love seeing how it's mixed up this year, but just amazing work. Next, I'm really excited to announce our top 10 teams. Can I get a drum roll, please? I'll be it at home. <laughs> all right, coming in at number 10, the Matt Suter Group, Flipper himself, out of our Summerlin office. Great job, Matt. Okay, number nine, the Crampton team from our St. Rose office. Congratulations. Number eight, the Blankfield group out of our Sahara office. All right, number seven, Ellen Farr group from our St. Rose office. Congratulations. Wow, number six, the McGarry Campa group from Southwest. Great job. Number five, the wonderful Carver team out of St. Rose, congratulations. Number four, wow, great job. The Napoli Group from Southwest. Number three, all right, are we ready? Number three, the Tonneson Team out of St. Rose. Number two, ah, oh, fabulous guy, great group. The Mullen Group out of our St. Rose office. And our number one team, company-wide, you guys gotta hear this, our number one team, company-wide, with almost 444 million in 2020 sales. I said 444 million. The number one team, the Ivan Shear Group from our Summer One Office. Wow, truly amazing job. All of you, just some amazing work this week this year. Congratulations and thank you for all you do. Our last award today is for the branch of the year. This is awarded to the office with the greatest year over year increase in growth, gross commission income, and overall success. 
This year's winning office, oh, this year's winning office, the Summerlin office, congratulations, Haiti. Great job, your entire staff and management team. Thank you for all you do, all the Summerlin team together. Um, congratulations. I am amazed and thrilled that we are branch of the year um, winners this year. What a thrilling thing for all of us. I'm just here on behalf of all of you, all the agents in my office. I'm accepting this on behalf of everyone because it's just amazing. You know, during this time, how everybody has worked so hard. Um, you support each other, you work hard. We um, have the best growth of all the offices. And it's because of the incredible, um, I believe, work ethic, the culture we have in our Summerlin office, and the dedication of all of my agents to being just the best professionals out there. And I couldn't be more proud or thrilled to accept this award on behalf of all of you. Please help me in congratulating all our award winners today and their outstanding management team. You guys rock. Um, you know, just an amazing year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, your success is our success and our goal. Um, thank you for being part of Berkshire Hathaway, and we look forward to another outstanding year. Peace out.